Hey everyone, I'm here in one of my favorite recording locations. It's easy for me to do it here because I'm outside of the sun and the sunny South Florida, it is hot as shit. Okay, so what are we talking about today? The Lee Spring Clunk, the infamous Lee Spring Clunk that plagues these vehicles. So let me see if I can get a good view there. Probably not. Oh, there we go. We got a good view there. So, most of the time, the culprit is the driver's side leaf spring on these GM vehicles. It seems to plague the GM 1500 vehicles, the Sierras, and the Silverados quite a bit. So, you're, you may be asking yourself, what is the solution for this? So, there's multiple ways you can approach this. Um, first, if you're under warranty, that's the one that we're going to cover here the most is there's a TSB for it. The TSB number for this is TSB number 21-NA-200. Now, this TSB requires multiple steps. So depending on how good the technician that is working on your vehicle is, uh, and how good the dealer is, is how fast they resolve this issue for you guys. So the first step in this TSB is that they gotta retorque the, the U-bolts. Uh, my truck did have this they retorqued the u-bolts didn't do a damn thing to fix it So they immediately went to the next step and this was all done Mostly within one day and I'll explain that a little bit better The next step they did is replace the spring isolators my dealer had the spring isolators in stock So they replaced them then and there uh, And it did not fix the issue unfortunately so what do, they, what do they have to do next? Well, the next step is they have to order the leaf spring and replace it. So, my dealer did not have the leaf spring in stock. It's not a, I guess it's a common thing for them to keep stock of them. So it was about a week out, so I had to pick my truck up and then drop it off for a day again. And they replaced the left side or the driver's side leaf spring. Once they replace that leaf spring, that clunk, that's uh, that happens when you guys drive over, you know, something that's off camber, or you know, either left or right or something. That is a leaf spring issue. So once they replaced it, that problem was absolutely gone. So let's talk about options if you're outside of warranty. If you're outside of warranty, you have a few options. You can either purchase the leaf spring and replace it yourself if you already uh, retorqued and it didn't change. Uh, you can do the procedure of replacing the OEM spring isolators. Again, I can't speak that that will work because they did it to mine at the dealer and it didn't change a damn thing. Um, then there's people claiming that they have really good luck with a product called Spring Thing. It's specifically made for issues like this it's a few little rubber pads that go into the leaf springs in between the the individual leaf leaf spring packs sorry guys i can't talk and a lot of people claim to have really good luck with it now if you guys are under warranty i would highly recommend you just get the leaf spring replaced and have the dealer deal with it that way you get that defective part outside now i understand not everybody wants to pay pay for that out of pocket once they're, they're out of warranty so the spring thing is probably one of your cheapest options uh, some people even claim that they use um, bicycle tubes the tubes are for the tires they cut them up and then they just jam them in there uh, I think there's a few videos on YouTube of people installing them so you might want to check them out um, and then other people use loop so some people you know either just WD-40 or they just pack grease into the leaf spring probably the least desirable of the fixes that you want to be looking into uh, as that is probably a very short-lived fix especially if you're in a climate where it's either gonna pack up a lot of dirt or even if you're in a climate where it's gonna see a lot of water and it's gonna wash all that grease up and then the other option is going with an aftermarket leaf pack. Now Deaver is probably the best company in the world making leaf springs. 
uh, definitely one of the oldest and most experienced people that you will talk to making leaf springs. So for these trucks, uh, as far as I know, there's only two options that they have. It's the M27 leaf pack, and then there's the R81 leaf pack that Deaver makes. Both are great options. Now Deaver does make custom leaf packs. Uh, they do charge a little bit more for making a custom set of leaf springs for you, but that is always an option, especially if you're carrying a lot of weight, you have very specific, specific circumstances that you want to prepare for as maybe you're towing a lot but you don't want to put airbags or maybe you just carry a lot of weight uh it being a work truck so those are options um me personally i went to the, the dealer route and i had really good luck uh like i said it was one dealer one day of diagnostics and then once they ordered the part that they did not have i just dropped it off another day about a week later and the, the problem was fixed for good now i did have another noise and it was from the front and i will do another video on that but the culprit seems to have been either the oem struck or even maybe the the ready left kit the ready lift uh spacer that i had on there right now both noises are eliminated but you know staying on track on the lee spring thing definitely a few options there so if you guys want to see more content on things like tsbs or common fixes for these trucks on these very common issues that seem to plague some of the gm 1500s please let me know and i'll make a video on it um also have a few videos coming up on some cool things that are coming up for this truck i have a few unique ideas here that i'm going to be doing that you guys should definitely stay tuned so give me a follow on instagram at carbon pro at4 at carbon pro underscore at4 and please give me a like and a follow here um please subscribe to the videos and i'll keep you up to date with the latest thank you guys have a great day